friends welcome back now let's see the second type of uh, method that is a method with arguments and with a written without written values so let me write the syntax here the syntax for this is written type so method value method name argument 1 argument 2 A group of statement so this written type whatever here i mentioned it is an empty data type what is an empty data type empty data type it's nothing but a void so because it is without written value without written value means you have to mention here the void a method name okay and whatever this argument list you can use either the primitive data types or the reference data type in the previous video i explained about the primitive and the reference data type so in the same way for all the uh, methods you can use either primitive or the reference based on the user requirement right so don't get confused so uh, how to access the reference data type how to access the primitive data type that i already clarified in the first method Met method with arguments and with written values so if you having any doubts go and watch that video students okay so let me take an example to explain this so one example I will explain in the here and uh, one example I will explain uh, in the IDE. Okay. So in the system I will try to type the program and I will compile it and I will execute the program and I will show you how to, how, the, uh, how to use the method with arguments and without written values. So first let us see here a class sample. Okay, so method without or without written values. So without written values means you have to mention void. Void maximum is a method name and arguments int a int b. The same example I am taking. So which uh, in the two numbers, which one is the uh, maximum number that you have to be find out. If a greater than b so here no written value. In the previous video what I have said uh, if a greater than b written a okay else written b but here there is no written type so what i have to do do directly write this system dot out dot println so i am not returning that value to the main program i am simply printing the value here only i am not returning so because it doesn't have a written type so if it doesn't have a written type try to print in the same place system dot out dot println a else system dot out dot print ln b okay so now write try to write the public static void so now if you want to access this is an instance method right it is an instance method because it doesn't have a static keyword if it is a static keyword is there then it is a class method so instance method can be accessed how many ways two ways so you can access by using object or by using an object reference so you can access the instance method. This method can be accessed by using an object or object reference. Okay. So how uh, when to use an object and when to use an object reference. So this is also I explained. If, if you want to access this instance method only once. Only once. If you want to access this instance method only once. Then go with an object. If you want to access this instance method more than once. Okay more than once if you want to access this instance method suppose the maximum int a comma b you want to access more than once so one time i want to check with 25 comma 30 and one next time i want to check with 46 comma 28 like that if you want to access more than once then go with the object reference so call the instance method by using an object or by using an object reference if you want to access one time go with an object if you want to access with more than one times go with an object reference is it clarified okay now so every video i try to recall that subject uh, recall the concept so that it will be uh, familiar for you uh, public static void main string argument okay so now here I am I'm calling my uh, method by using an object reference. So if you want to call uh, access the instance method by using object reference. So create an object sample d is equal to new sample. So I create an object reference. So d is an object reference. This is an object right. 
So here you want to call instance method by using object reference. So how you are going to call d dot maximum 40 comma 36. That's it. Here I am not in the previous video what I done int x is equal to d dot max. So there the return type is there. If return type is there you have to mention int means whatever the value that it is there that you have to copy it into that variable and that value had to be printed because return type is there but here there is no return type so simply by using object reference d dot maximum 40 comma 36 means the controller will come to here okay 40 comma 36 controller will come to this uh instance method it calls this instance method and it checks 40 40 is greater than 36 yes 40 is greater than 36 if it is right then print 40 directly it is going to print 40 else it it prints b value so here 40 is greater than 36 so directly it prints the 40 value so here no written type it is not a, no written type so, this is how to use a method with arguments and without return values. So, in the next video, I will explain by taking another program in the IDE.